What's going on guys? Night Rainbow here with another reaction video. And I'm taking a look at episode 4 of Friendship is Witchcraft. Uh, this one's titled uh, Keep from the Hip. That's yeah, an interesting title there. So <laughs> I'm going to get it rolling and see what happens. Start in 3, 2, 1, start. National anthem for today. <laughs> Thank you. Today wow. we're going to be talking about robots. Yay. Again, robots are everywhere in the world around us, living obliviously as ponies like you or me. You see, a robot doesn't actually know it's a robot. It's programmed to act and respond the same way we do. If it ever learn the truth about itself, it would probably go into a violent existential rampage through the town. That's why, if you ever discover uh -huh. one of your friends is a robot, you must report them immediately so that they can be destroyed. Wow. <laughs> I know I taught you to laugh in the face of death, but robots are actually a serious problem. Why, any one of you could have the gears and wires of a robot whirring away beneath your synthetic pony flesh. Now, can any pony tell me the difference between a robot and a cyborg? Oh, 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 oh. Robots don't have souls. That's right. <laughs> you. An injured robot might bleat as though it is in pain, but only as part of its program. In truth, robots can't feel things like pain, sadness, or love. Now, let's say, for example, your husband slowly grows colder and more distant as time passes. He doesn't make good conversation or say he loves you anymore or support your Stop. to go back to school and become a teacher. No. Lunch, then at least try to suffer with dignity. Numbers! Those are strictly forbidden in Ponyville. <laughs> Maybe she's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Voice, wow. Can you believe that they don't even have their cutie marks yet? We all learned our talents last week in that explosion. Your talent is wiggling. My talent is exposition. Both of our talents have to do with plot. I guess that's why we're the main characters. Don't worry, Frank. Yeah. Thanks. You wish. You're totally invited to my Mark Mitzvah this weekend. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have so many snacks <laughs> there that the Grand Galloping Gala is going to look like the Donner Party. It's going to be like Snack City. The entire school is going to be attending, so if you two don't show up, then the other seven of us are going to mock you endlessly. We're like sharks right now. As long as my mom doesn't get drunk and start singing Smash Mouth again, this is going to be my Smash best Mouth. Mark Mitzvah yet. Like that will happen. See you at the party. Okay, one, two, two three. Stupid, stupid head. head. <laughs> Nailed it. I don't even it's know. It's not fair. It's just not fair. For the last time, I ain't switching religions just so you can have a Mark Mitzvah like a popular kid. Well, I suppose it won't matter if I never even get my cutie mark. Don't you worry. In no time at all, you'll get your apple mark, and then you can start working the apple farm until the day you die, just like every pony in our family has since the dawn of time. But my special talent might not even have to do with apples. Don't be silly. We didn't name you Apple Bloom so you could grow up to be the president. Be the president? Be the president. Be the president! Now, see here, Apple Bloom. We're gonna nip this president thing in the bud. This hypnotic apple's made me forget all about my aspirations. The key to being a good <laughs> apple salesman is to always stay focused. Hey, Applejack, look how fast I can spin. Uh, I know you're taking spin classes, but the spinning kitty mark was already taken by our local Beyblade champion. Now go uh -huh. and sit down. Buy some apples. Buy some apples. Buy some apples. Buy some apples. I'm American. Buy some apples. <laughs> Dr. Hoops is American. That's great. I think I just earned myself a victory twirl. She's getting away. You have to get around and around and around I go. Too fast? I'm sorry, little sis, but aprons are for winners. What? But you just sold that to me for like 10 bucks. Lee, now. Followed? I don't think so. Well, <laughs> the whole reason 
<laughs> Police sirens. So much that you need to replace me with two other ponies. I'll see you at the party, right? What an interesting plot twist. Anyway, you better come to the party because we're gonna be bobbing for apple blooms and playing pin the tail on the apple bloom and have an apple bloom pinata. The whole thing is riding on you. Wow. Stop making that face. Only Diamond Tower can make that look good. <laughs> Whoa. Applejack, how did you get so little? Rainbow Dash, I need your help. Hold on, let me get closer. Donna Tower says that I need a cutie mark to be plot relevant, but everyone keeps telling me my cutie mark's gonna be apple related, but I don't even want to work with apples when I grow up because I want to be president. Apple Blue, where did you come from? <laughs> Applejack. Wow, you really are blind. But at least you have a cutie mark. Cutie mark? I can get you a rainbow mark and a dash. But Applejack says that, hey, who are you gonna listen to? Someone who does this all day, or your sister? The answer is me. I always liked rainbows and all, but I was dashing nowhere in a dash. It wasn't until my very first dash that I rainbowed a rainbow me to dash. And rainbow! Dash rainbow oh my dash, God. rain dash, rainbow, rain dash, dash. Follow me! And then he held up this picture of a bunch of dots, and he said, what number is this? And I said, there's no number. Those are just dots. What an idiot. All your life, people are uh -huh. working against you. Your eye doctor might tell you that you need big, stupid glasses, or that you'll never join the Wonder Balls because of your astigmatism. But you never listen. Never listen. Now let's get that cutie mark. Well, we tried rainbows and dashing, so I'm basically out of ideas. This huge box is a way better <laughs> friend than Apple Bloom. I know. It'll be even better when we add the smiley face. Mr. Boxster is amazing. I would go as far as to say that he's my best friend. Um, you mean your second best friend, right? <laughs> right? Thank Applejack, you. how did you get so little? I'm ruined! Ruined! I'm gonna replace my box with a face! You can be my assistant chef! Career woman? Where did everyone go? See you, Rainbow Dash! <laughs> I'm off to make something of myself! Okay, should I balance your checkbook? Or take inventory? I'm ready to get corporate! Get out of my way, oven! You see, Apple Bloom, I've always been accused of witchcraft, but as an Earth Pony, I knew nothing about magic! Gypsy? I'm not a gypsy, I'm a pastry chef! Those aren't even similar! Or are they? Twilight had given me an idea! I consulted the local witch doctor, and she told me that with the perfect brew, I could go back in time and save my parents from their untimely deaths! Now let's open this portal! Oh my god. Wow. It's your legal magic to give me a cutie mark. But my time is so valuable. I don't know if I'll I'll tell everyone about your Discord fan <gasps> No one must know. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll take what I can. Yeah. Oh, who is that pretty lady? Try again, try again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Next! <laughs> That was Nyx. That looked like Nyx. Celestia says I can't go in bounce houses anymore. The good thing 
Oh, God. Miles away. And unless Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon use the megaphones again, there's no way they can make fun of <laughs> Buy some apples. <laughs> Wow. How clever. You can just drop the food right on your body. Nice dress. It really shows off your massive blank thighs. But seriously, you look great. Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> it's part of Rarity's post floor crap for health collection. Just remember that I'm the prettiest girl here. So, um, you have to be second prettiest. Um, you mean the third prettiest, right? I'm glad you guys aren't picking on me. Maybe we're in an alternate timeline. Stop speaking in gypsy riddles and just remember that when I say the A word, the blood will drop. The A stands for apple. Ah, I'm covered in blood. Okay, <laughs> no schmooze. Nothing can stop the schmooze. Diamond TR would never fall in love with someone as clumsy as you. Nice try, idiot, idiot face. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing at you. I said, that's none of your business. Scootaloo is correct. We've been under that oh my god. Waiting for the perfect moment to tell you off. Life is a journey. She has plenty of time to grow up, fall in love, and start a family like you or I. For love is the fluid that beats through our collective hearts. <laughs> apple Bloom can be any apple-related thing she wants. What are you two doing here? You don't even go to our school. Scootaloo. You guys aren't good at anything either? I thought it was just me and Spy. We thought it was just you and Spy too. Oh my too. god. Hey, Diamond Tiara, do you have any more cookies? What? Where do you people keep coming from? Well, when I noticed you at a snack table, I wandered in off the street. My little sister can fritter away with her friends as much as she wants. And then they apple us. Not again! I wish I could be one of them. Heartless is you. I just follow the crowd. <laughs> hey, where is every pony going? My cruelty is supposed to make you like me more, not drive you away. Whatever. We only need each other to be happy. Come on, DT, let's wrestle. <laughs> you gotta hit me back. That's your answer to everything. <laughs> oh, wrestling, you're so dumb, stupid, stupid. I'm Scootaloo. Input name, Sweetie Belle. We're friends. <laughs> wow, that chair band, it really got Diamond Tiara good. Anyway, we're friends now, right? How could we not be? I mean, we all don't have our cutie marks. We're all sentient biological life forms. And uh -huh. we all like ice cream. Now that we're friends, what if we formed a consortium? <laughs> Ooh, or we could form a club. Her idea is better. Her site is for cutie marks. Yeah. What should we call ourselves? Friendship buddies? Cutie mark acquisition program. Cutie mark and the funky bunch? Friendship explosion? Cutie mark acquisition program. Apple Bloom and her two friends? Friend fun good pals? Cutie Mark. Acquisition program. What about the snooty snarky baiters? The fun begins immediately. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, today I was reminded of the wonders of childhood. I remember being a little filly at your school, and whenever I learned a new lesson about friendship or magic, I would send you a letter right away. You were always so proud of me. Here we are, decades later, and I've never stopped. You can take comfort in knowing I'll that I'll keep, keep sending you letters. letters every single day for the rest of my life. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I've heard about, uh... 
I've been hearing about Sweetie Pot for a while now. I'm wondering if that's if that was it. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Man, I had actually forgotten all about that episode. I only just watched all this a couple months ago, but I I'm forgetting a lot of the earlier ones. All right. So that was episode 4. I'll get to episode 5 soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy.